Hi friends, in this video I'm sharing with you my 2024 setup. It's very simple. I've gone really minimal this year um, after exploring a bunch of different sizes and planners over the last um, year or two. I have decided to stick with an A5 and a half letter. So one is personal and then one is work and I will be sharing more of a deep dive in those in later videos. One of my favorite brands to order from is Infinite Lotus. They always have really great designs and the paper is just such high quality. It's so fun to use and write on. So whenever I restock, this is one of my favorite companies. I'll list a few that I kind of go to all the time in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open everything and then I can show you how I'm using them in my planner. Okay, so I got a set of dashboards and then these dividers, these are on translucent vellum and they're so nice and flexible and super thin so they don't bulk up your planner. Okay, so this overview is a year at a glance. It's on some really pretty vellum. I also got this inbox dashboard, which is really fun. It's got a yes, no sort of chart. It was just a pretty design, I liked it. The other ones are on the vellum and one is for finances and then one is that letter A for the aesthetic dashboard. This one's a little bit thicker. It's on a different type of vellum stock and then the finances one is a very smooth, almost plasticky type of vellum. I do prefer this one. It's a little bit thinner and more flexible, but I do like all of them and then I just have to figure out where to put them in my planner. Okay, so this is my A5 LV Agenda. It's the GM, um, and it is one I've had for a little while. I have a previous setup video on this on my channel. So the front part of it is actually the same as far as the aesthetics and the pockets here. All my tabs here are from cloth and paper. That dashboard with the moon is from Infinite Lotus. Okay, and so I first go into my pre-plan section, and this is sort of like a perpetual calendar. Um, it's something I can reference for any birthdays, anniversaries, events, things that just are reoccurring throughout the year and I just want to remind myself uh, when those are coming every month. What I love about this insert is there are two columns so it's really easy to put in the ones that are perpetual activities and events and then on the right column I can put in anything that's specific to this year for 2024. Okay, so I did a little combination of digital and um, ordering physical items from Infinite Lotus. I'm using these paper uh, packets here. These are from, uh, I think it's Amazon. I'll link it below. I love these. They are pre-cut, pre-punched. Even though I have a punch at home, it just saves so much time just printing on these. And I can really customize what I wanna put in my planner. So what I do is I will order the digital PDFs from Infinite Lotus and then use this paper and print out anything that I, I need for that section. <laughs> All right, so after that um, pre-planning section is my schedule section. I do have this really cute holder here. It's a business card holder, but um, I think I might put deco or stickers in it. Um, it is embossed with the LV icons there. For now, it's just empty. Um, and then I go right into my overview for the year and this is by quarter and then on the other side of the page it's got the accomplishments and achievements or any memories I want to keep for a review of that quarter. Okay, so what I want to do now is put in some tabs for this schedule section. So one will be pre-plan and then one for my overview for the quarter um, and I do have a today marker for the current month. So I'll use that as my monthly divider. What I love about this monthly overview at a glance is that the dashboard for the month is right next to it on the same page or the next page right next to it. So I'm not looking and flipping from the calendar section to my overview section. I like I can see both at the same time. 
And I can easily put little stickies or post-its on that today page marker for any quick notes and reminders. This agenda is mostly my family and personal one. And then this one, the black half letter is going to be my work and project planner. But for my rings, my A5, this is mostly reference and keeping track of any family events, travel, kids, you know, activities, or there are any school events, things like that. Something I might need to reference. So it'll just stay open on my desk um, as an easy reference. All right, so the second section is that notes and list section. And again, I have an empty card holder here, which will probably be decoration or stickers at some point. I haven't really gotten that far yet. Um, but this section has a dated full month on each page. Um, and I'm thinking I might keep it as a tracker, um, maybe like a gratitude each day, something like that. I haven't fully decided, but I have the inserts ready to go. And the last section there is the finance section. And so I'll pop in my new dashboard there. Um, and this is gonna be mostly expense trackers. Um, and again, another card holder. So each of these three sections I have to finish decorating, but I am trying to keep things very simple and minimal this year. I had these older paper printouts. I didn't wanna waste them, but they're a little bit more of a yellowy cream color, not really a true white. So you can see the difference there. Um, and then at the end, I just have a page lifter with an extra pen loop. Um, and that is it <laughs> for my A5 agenda. So I'll just go ahead and pop in the few dashboards that I got um, to refresh the planner. Something I've learned over the last few years is that the less I have to manage and track, the better I am actually at keeping up to date with my planner and actually using it and I actually enjoy the process. So simplifying it is actually more effective for me. Sometimes it's really, really easy to get lost in the planning to plan part and just get worried about your aesthetics and all your supplies and then forget to actually do the productive planning part. Um, so I'm really going to try to hold myself in check this year um, and just scale back a little bit and see if that's a little bit more effective for me because I do enjoy this a little bit as a creative outlet, but I also want to remember that it has to have a function, which is to be more productive and effective during my work day. Um, so let's see how that goes for 2024. I do have these extra tab dividers that I had ordered. So if I ever do feel like I'm growing and need to add in any sections or tabs, I have those ready to go. But for now, I like how simple this is. I hope you enjoyed my minimal and simple planner flip for this year in my A5 agenda. I will do a flip through of my work one, which is that black agenda cover there with the half letter disc in a separate video. So if you're interested in that, I will also link it once it's uploaded and ready to go. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.